That's none of the things you told me. Yeah, base for the demigorgon and the little dwarf wizard guy, and maybe a bit of brass scorpion. See, I told you. He's, he's, he's slightly off put because it wouldn't let me click the button to start, uh, but that's because I put my phone on the space bar uh, on the keyboard. <laughs> Uh, and so it was having a little, it was having a a little trouble with itself. Hey, John. Well, I see. Well, so I've started uh, using a little bit of red paint up here, so I'm just going to finish doing this, and then we will get on to hopefully the base will have dried sufficiently then, and uh, and then we can crack on with base painting. Although I can already see a little bit of an issue uh, as it is here in front of me. Uh, I can see it starting to split uh, and I haven't even put the crackle paint on yet so that's a little concerning uh, but we'll just finish up this bit of red on this claw from the breast scorpion and then we will have a look and uh, apologies if I am a little croaky or a little slow this evening we've got cold in our house Everybody's got a cold. And, uh, it's been all right most of the day, but first thing in the morning and towards the evenings, as you all know, starts getting a little bit weird. With croaky voiceness. I'll do my best not to be croaky and weird. So this is the uh, one of the claws from the brass scorpion that Mrs. MLG bought me for my birthday four or five years ago can't remember now it's been a long time hasn't it and uh, every year I roll it out and do a little bit more work on it uh, so and Mrs MLG reminded me that I haven't done anything on it for a while uh, the other day so yesterday I got it out of the cupboard to uh, do a little bit so I'm just freshening up the red using some Reaper uh, HD paint that we've, uh, we've fortunately got a second bottle of in the cupboard because this is one of the ones that hasn't been reformulated, repackaged as a Bones paint uh, but we've got enough for me to uh, finish the red on this thing so this is, I've got this claw and then one of the claw to do with this shade of red and then we'll go ever so slightly lighter or brighter red over the top before we move on to uh, working a little bit on the brass trim. Hi, Hi. Uh, I didn't actually say hi to everybody, did I? Hi, Sharon. Hi, John. Hi, uh, Pete. Hi, Tony. Did I miss anybody? Hi, Wicked D. Apologies if I have uh, missed anybody. Let me know that I've missed you and we will give you a shout out. Yeah. When are we going to do that? Okay, so. Uh, the brass scorpion, this, is, this claw and another claw worth of red before we start doing all the red all over again. I'm not going to be doing that uh, primarily on stream this evening because that is base and dwarfness. This is just how I was, uh, I was using up the little bit of red before we started the stream this evening. So let's just smooth that a little bit and then we'll put this thing down. Still got a little bit of red on the palette but it's a wet palette and I've just topped the water up just before we started so we uh, can put this safely away right, get that back over there clean our brush right then so here we go, base problems. Can you see already how we've got splits in there? I'll tilt it slightly, maybe. 
already got splits occurring in the surface. Now, uh, about seven o'clock, I painted this all over. It's still a little bit wet in space places. Painted this all over with some Reaper Black Primer. Now the raised effect on here is, so originally it had been done with some GW Astro Granite around the edges. That's That was all across the whole surface of the base. And then last Thursday or Friday, I used the Vallejo uh, texture stuff, like the filler type thing to uh, splodge in because there was a couple of gaps and low points and what have you. So I splodged all that in and it's been drying all weekend on the counter, but it obviously isn't fully dry because as that primer has dried, it's splitting. I don't know if that's still very mm, like flexible. I'm not really sure what's going on there. But I think what we're going to do is we're just going to press on. We're just going to press on. Because, <laughs> you know, what's the worst that can happen? I'm not going to glue the model to it until it's ready. So I'm going to get some malefic purple. I'm going to stick it in the palette here. Then we're just going to crack on. Get some. Uh, Green stuff well, malefic purple, and my intention is just to blather this across the entire base, wait for that to dry, give it a, a varnish with some gloss varnish, and then we'll use the crackle paint over the top. I think that should work, what do you reckon? Mrs. MLG shrugged. Do you think gloss varnish is better, or is PVA glue better? Mm -hmm. PVA glue. Okay, we'll give it give it a go with some PVA glue rather than gloss varnish. Let's clear our nozzle with the pokey tool. Okay, so I was going to go with like fire red and have it lava underneath, but then I thought about it some more and I figure that like the purple stuff should really uh, match in with our colour scheme a little bit better. Now then, if you are... Uh, off by horror brushes look away now because I'm gonna use my horror brush I'm just gonna uh, liberally apply malefic purple all over the, uh, the surface of the base Might have to have a couple of coats this actually, because where that black's not quite dry, it's uh, made this a lot darker than I wanted it to be. I might have just put that primer on too thick, because I knew I needed to cover a large area. I squirted the paint straight onto the base and then just spread it around, so that might be the issue. Stretch from well purple. What's going on here? Nozzle was blocked, I do apologise. Right. Get some of that spread around. Malefic purple. Sharon says, that purple really looks blue on the camera. It does. It looks like the bluest blue anybody's ever seen. Mm. But honestly, I've just looked over and it's purple. It's like some weird optical illusion. I don't know what's going on with the lights today because if I turn them down, it gets lots of ah, it gets lots of lines uh, instead of um, instead of nice camera work. It gets all those horrible lines. So I'm afraid you're just gonna have to believe us that it's purple. And it's really it's like Cadbury's purple. Yeah. <laughs> So it's just bizarre. And then if I turn the big light off, I'll turn the big light off. No, nope, still lines. Is it the lines rolling up the screen? Yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah. to do with the light levels you get the lines, but it went on all right, sir. But you say up tonight. I'm not saying that that's the problem. I'm just saying that's the only difference. Yeah. So when I first sat down and I was uh, I was tinkering, 
uh, I turned the light, the brightness up on my overhead lamp up because it was really low. And then, uh, no, but then because the, it was getting the lines until I turned it up, and then they went. So I thought, anyway, it's, so it's I, thought I thought I'd fix it, but maybe I haven't. Maybe I haven't. Right then, so that's that done for now. We'll have to just wait for that purple to dry. Let's just put that over to one side. Don't know what happened there. Weird. Uh, let's get a tiny little flame. I've just noticed on the Demogorgon himself, just noticed a tiny little spot. Uh, that seems to have not got any paint. John the Templar thinks you're crazy. Yeah, John. You're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. uh, just the light angle that I was looking at, there's just a tiny little splodge in there that just didn't seem to have any paint. It was very strange. Just a little, little white spot on his tentacle. Mm -hmm. right, so we'll wait for him to dry because he needs... Uh, he needs varnishing still before we pull him off his painting handle. Oh, in fact, I might as well leave this brush out because we can use that for dwarf. Use that for the dwarf. Right. So this dwarf has got a ring on his finger, which I hadn't noticed before. Just here. Yeah. There's a Pokemon, everyone. But what we need to do is uh, lighten up his cloak again. We we're going to go for a final highlight on his cloak, I believe, last time. So I did mirror, uh, what was it? Blue gray dusk. Blue gray dusk. And mirage blue that I did last time. And then I was going to go for the next one up from that. Stop wrecking the uh, wrecking the painting area. Which... There it is, Wolven Grey. That's the boy. That's the boy. What's Sharon say? Burn that brush. The uh, the horror brush. That's a perfect example of why you should maybe uh, poke your paints out with pokey tools because I really wanted the tiniest little blob and I've ended up with loads. I think Wicked D's having some problems. Wicked D says, bang his head on desk. I despise painting with metallics. <laughs> I, uh, my mission, I'm supposed to be painting now, but I'm actually just messing around with a YouTube video. Um, has only got some gold on so far and I'm hating it. Because I too don't like painting with metallics, but then neither do I want to paint non-metallic, metallic y shiny light nonsense. Uh, but yeah, um, like, ooh, this looks so rubbish. She's just staring at me going, you need to finish me before the end of the month. I'm like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> Your genie's looking super cool though. Don't be harsh on yourself. Tony says, I have an old coffee jar that I've labelled the Deadpool, which is full of horror brushes. Yes, uh, we have an old drinking glass which hasn't got a label on it, I'm afraid. Uh, that is equally full of horror brushes. Uh, Nathan can show you all if you like, and then you can really. In fact, some of our horror brushes still have the caps on them, um, which is a bit weird. But these horror brushes are what we use for PVA and sticking bits on and doing nonsense. and what little miss is allowed to use. Mm. I know she's not in the mood for painting, but says she wants to paint because I know she wanted to get to the brushes. Mm. Oh, thanks, John. Thank you very much. Sharon says, no, John, Sharon, <laughs> it's too late. It's too late to bear <laughs> mm. Just flash it in. Flash it in. Look at you, says, yeah, I'm not good enough for that non metal blah, 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 stuff. Tried it, failed it, so I too am stuck with rubbish and time. I haven't even tried it, at least you, at least you tried it. <laughs> Me, just went, nope. I've 
to change my glasses. Trying to, uh, trying to paint that is no good. Woven grey. Oh, that's, that makes so much difference. Look, you can, you can. I have actually got hair. Looks like I haven't got any hair, but I have actually got hair. I promise. I have to do the last week. I looked up and you could just see the like my bald head. Slightly more than uh, is needed for a microscope. It's because you are grey, my darling. So when you've got your light so bright, the camera's not picking up those beautiful shiny locks of yours. <laughs> Sharon's been painting for four straight days, and some amazing painting you've been doing as well. As uh, as always, to be fair, but really, really good. Hey, Red. Hi. Lady T has done an awesome, awesome uh, paint job in the Discord. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure how to say it. Is it, is it, the, is it the cartoon, the anime character? I'm not, I'm not very good, as you all know. I'm not very good with names and saying things out loud. I don't know. To Totoro. Totoro? Totoro. Oh, is it? I don't know. Oh, is it the my friend thing? Is is something like my friend Totoro or what? Yeah, the little. Is it the little, little grey, mousey looking thing? What? It's in my head. I can, I can see, see a picture. picture, and then you probably go, no, no it's, it's not that. Oh, that's a total mouse. I don't know if that's if that's the reference. And I've, I've seen, seen that film. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, like Totoro. Is that, is that, I don't even know, Totoro. Anyway, Lady Totoro uh, has, done, has done an awesome job, despite the fact that I can't say the words. Uh, we are going to wish somebody a very happy birthday, a birthday song. Are we all ready for a birthday song? For none other than our very own Mr. MLG, who is extremely old now. But not as old as me. <laughs> Are you ready, sweetheart? Or every, every Saturday on the computer screen, we're all going to sing. Yeah? Okay, ready? I'm ready. ready to listen to everybody. Here we yeah. go. There is a mighty lancer birthday, a mighty lancer birthday. Someone has a birthday in mighty lancer land. It's my birthday! Yay! Happy birthday, sweetie pie. Hey, Moxie! Hi! Would you, would you like to tell us what you got for your birthday? I got some booze. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, and my mother just brought you lots and lots of booze, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got some booze, I got some new uh, boots to wear for walking and work and uh, got a dreadnought from Forge World from you and I got little miss made me some uh, awesome aliens pom pom aliens pom pom aliens and a little box to keep bits and pieces in and what else did I get not a lot really because I'm old now and you don't get stuff when you're old 
and as Mrs. Oh, ML- oh, I got a book, yeah. As uh, as you keep reminding me, like I didn't tell you what I wanted, so I didn't get anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> Which, yeah. came, which I, I'm not very good with for the world because it was just like the body in one packet and then I had to buy the arms separately and the weapons separately. That was ridiculous. <laughs> that was because we got it when we the last time we went. We got it. Well, that's just the job you were there because otherwise you just, I'd just thought buying the body it was the whole thing. You just ended up picking our arms. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Tony says he gets socks. That's Christmas. Socks, socks and pants is Christmas. <laughs> that's, that's what happens at Christmas. Socks and pants. Um, tell us what, what card you've got today. You have to explain. Yeah. So uh, some of our uh, some of our customers who are fairly new to 40k and they're like a, a group of friends from uh, like they met at school or whatever. And, uh, and they handmade me a card that's got like proper drawings of Warhammer and stuff on and then they all wrote me some nice messages inside thanking me for being uh, being cool and uh, selling them great value Warhammer stuff. It was pretty it's been awesome. a long time since anyone's called it cool, isn't it? Yeah. It was really nice. It was really nice of them taking a lot of time. They'd drawn all these pictures and they'd drawn like a layout of like a battle type thing, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, it's and, uh, and super they, they cool. they called it the 42nd edition and stuff, and uh, yeah, it was, it was really nice of them. And there's your wife getting you a card with the wrong space man on there. <laughs> you didn't know. Eh? You didn't know they were the wrong space marines. Not until I'd already had it, <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit right now. So and then and then I've spent near enough all weekend just playing with me toys. Mm-mm. I took you out for tea. Yeah. 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 Got cooked breakfast in bed, that was pretty awesome. He says to me, I want, I want cooked breakfast. I went, okay, well, it's like beans and bacon and egg and all that. And I went, okay, well, you can't have that in bed then. And he went, oh, why not? I was like, because you're all making a mess. And I had to get tray after tray. <laughs> it was ace, though. Didn't need any dinner. Uh, super awesome breakfast in bed. What's going on there? Blue on his arm, that's no good. So that's it for another year now. Well, yeah, and that's it for another year. That's made my own dinner yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Can I make a soil one? <laughs> Look at this, it's ice for the day, building a wardrobe in between watching the funeral. Yeah, we, we watched, uh, me and my miss watched the, me, the main part, we didn't watch it all. We didn't build a, few, we didn't build a wardrobe though. Finished finish building Audrey, but I didn't, didn't build a wardrobe. Mm. It's been a long time since I've had to build a wardrobe. I wanted to watch Little Shop of Horrors last night. We're not paying for it because yeah. we because we own it on DVD. But all of the streaming services you have to pay for it, or they don't have it. We watched Rocky Horror instead. Yeah. Red spent the day up at the allotment. What what you uh, what you growing at this time of year? I don't know what grows at this time of year. Evolved panda. It's not moving, is it, John? I think it's a trick. Or has it moved? And I've just not noticed. Apparently, yeah. there's like a, a ghost uh, one, but I don't know. If you swap, if... If you lose all your yeah. non-existent progress. I don't know. Or if you can have two. Mm-hmm. It says, everybody, Audrey! You'll have to show us your little guy, because it's too small for us to see what you're doing. Okay. I will do in a second once I've... Uh... I think it's 
just you a not just put the DVD in the PC? Yeah, well, the, yeah, the, the problem is that the DVD is outside in the shed and it's pitch black and we're not really entirely sure exactly where it is. It could so, be in one of several boxes. Yeah, so last night when we decided quite late on that we wanted to watch it, it no one was going outside for it. <laughs> Changes that is 15 when they haven't changed, has it? <clears throat> I don't remember it changing. There you go, there you go. I thought I'd have to do it myself. That's, that's a he's legit. Gone, he's so gone pink. He's pink now, just for pink. And when he gets to level 30, he's green. There's a Pokemon in chat, everybody. So there you go. That, well, that's, that's a jip, isn't it? You have to do it yourself. Ugh. Pink. Look, well, there's a bulldog. I might. Shall we have a look at the bulldog? Are you ready? Hmm? See what happens. No, look at that. Oh, it didn't. It didn't. Um, didn't lose our progress. Didn't lose. We're still level twenty-nine. So we can swap, swap and swap. <laughs> would okay then? Would you like a pink area or this black and tan bulldog? I think that's uh, that's a choice that you're gonna have to make, everybody. We might have to do a poll. Oh, cool. I want to see how we do a pole. Cool. Pete likes pink one. Yeah, pink one. Just putting green manure down. Look, tomatoes and chilies looking good. Yeah. So good. I I cannot help. So he's got he's got the ring on that finger and then he's also got a ring on his little finger on his other hand. Just there. Right. 
with the days swaying about towards the bulldog. All right. Just uh, influencing it with channel points. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not that mean that you have to be bitched about that bastard dog. Those fruit the channel points. Oh, <laughs> two, says so Red. Oh, four, five votes for Alien now. 25 votes for Five or six votes for Alien. It's sneaking back up there, is the Alien. Oh no, Bulldog's got a back in his room. They did 30, 33 votes. It would be nice if this many people watched, to be fair. Eight votes for Alien, 35 for Bulldog. I think we're going to see a clear winner. Unless Aliens can get up there through the sharpish. I would say it's a tight finish, but it's really not, is it? With 40 votes for Bulldog and 14 for Alien. 40. 46. 40. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> oh, it's nearly finished. Thing is, the poll's nearly finished. Wiki D, this has really hurt my points total. And we have a winner with 46 votes to 17. <laughs> it's the <laughs> 8,600 channel points, that's insane. Now, this is the, this is the level 1 bulldog, and we're actually at level 29, which is this one, which is a darker colour, so there we go. Yeah, I like that guy. He's, uh, he's, he's still called Honda, but you know, I, I can't change that apparently. But uh, the Panda the dog. Panda dog. So, so now, now you have, now you've got to take care, care of the dog. dog. Now, now now you've got a dog, dog everybody. We need to be taking care, care taking care of Jay Star says that you're all cheats. We are. There we go. We'll be drowned with the dog in a minute at this rate. Awesome. Jay Star, you're uh, local to Hull. Did you go to the uh, Did you go to the bring and buy yesterday? That's, That's quite great when it drinks a lot of those, to be fair. Yes, our yes, bulldog does have a tail. I've been making it. Our bulldog's born with the tail and it's docked, or did the other born with the stumpy tail? I've, I've never owned one. Well. Liking that water, isn't it? Jason, we didn't, unfortunately. I've got enough already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's food, that's different. I've got food everywhere. That's got to be a typical uh, typical bulldog turning. Our food went all over the floor. Vicky D says, watch his funeral today. Watch his session and then you get to the point where the corgis watch the procession and one laid down on the sad and everything. So we've been seeing that. Tony says bulldogs have a tail, but some breeders have them docked. Oh, okay. See, I'm, I'm happy that ours has got a tail. I'm very likely to tell them about the looks of that. Person says, I was going to go, but had plant stuff in the garden. Had plant stuff in the garden. So, yeah. we, we didn't go, because you knew it was. Oh no, it was yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, we, but we didn't go because we couldn't get a dog sitter. Ah. We're going, We're going to go to the next one. Yes. I've, I've already booked my table. This is uh, Nathan's personal, not uh, energy yeah. stock. <laughs> yeah. Going to go and uh, try and sell some of my previous projects. Some of my expansive collection. It's 
So I've got some, some weathered stone and I've mixed it with the brown that I used for the base coat for the beard. I'm just using it in progressive highlights on the, uh, on the beard and his eyebrows. John the Templar is sneaking about. And then I'm gonna fix his nose once I've finished doing this because. You didn't sneak loud enough to wake up busy with John. Still smiling or whatever there. Red says, Plus, me and Little Red are going to buy Blood Bowl this week. Ah, awesome. Yeah. Jay says, It's become a bit of a hive for gaming as a wait for a game to play in that is. Yeah, yeah so, so I've heard. So I've heard. That's. Uh, I'd like to. I'd like to go and do a bit of nosying in some uh, local stores. I think at some point in the not too distant future, I mentioned to Mrs. MLG the other day. But we've got a few jobs ourselves to do before we can uh, take a day off to go touring. We've had, uh, had a couple of other store owners come and scoping us out recently. D is enjoying this stream. That's Wicked D's entrance so that we all are ready for what card she's got. Jay says they don't sell much. Tony says uh, Nels makes up for the lack of tail with either bum wiggling or excited snuffling my ear and slobbering all over me. Mm -hmm. Gizmo has the most intense bum wiggle uh, I've ever seen. He has a tail, but Dutch do it. But like, his whole back end just it's ridiculous. His feet lift off from the floor and all sorts. <coughs> and uh, his whippy tail is, is quite painful if he catches you as well. It's a thick, thick, strong tail that batters into you. Getting himself all excited because you've come home or whatever. And he smiles at Nathan. He doesn't smile at me, but he smiles at Nathan. He gets so excited when he comes home that the uh, the corners of his mouth lift up and he smiles at him. Like, yay, I've missed you so much, Dad. You left me at home with Mum and she's a meanie. <laughs> Ricky D says, Gizmo's tail like it's so cute. He, he is, he is cute. And he's asleep, so I can say that. <laughs> Oh look, our pet bulldog's asleep. It's snoring, Tony. It is just like a proper bulldog. Snoring, you can hear it. Look like there's like faces vibrating and everything. <laughs> do I uh, do I ever hydrate? I don't know, but I'm sure that... Because um, I've been so intently... Yeah. I'm sure that Pete won't argue if you, if you want one. I haven't got one on my list. Uh, well, I've got one from 13 minutes ago. Can you do that one? Uh, I think so. I don't know. We did. We did hear it from your house first, Tony. We did. Now I've made Audrey tea. And she's just sat over there on the table. Yeah, what, are you, what are you going to do with it now? Well, it's it'll be for the Halloween party, but that's not for another month. So. <laughs> I'll just have to sit over there looking at me. If I, if I tell you to take it to the shop ready, it'll only get broken. Nearly picked up my paint water to drink on that, and they know about it. <laughs> right, I'm going to hold this up to the camera, darling. Okay, my darling. Right. Trying to pull it still. Okay, so. The next thing that I'm going to do is 
Thank you very much, Pete. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is try and uh, sort his little leather pouch and um, belt out. And then we'll do his little daggery, swordy thing. Thank you very much, everybody. It's hard to see with the light being as it is, but uh, I'm I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty proud of him at the moment. So I'm going to sort his. Oh, there you go. That's even without with the little lines, you could see a bit more of the contrast and stuff between the colours. So I'm going to sort the leather out, and then we'll do metals. Right, bear with me just a second. I have a little guide for myself about how I do leather. I just need to find it. How are we all getting on with September's painting challenges? We've got three, haven't we? Well, four if you count the RCL. RCL, Great MLG Brush Up, Goblin Inspiration, and Barry Rolling Play. And soon we'll have uh, to be thinking about the Secret Santa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, de definitely will let us know once everything's in, in place. And then um, I think it's definitely a good lady who writes out to us all and then we get randomly assigned somebody. So that's cool. Lots of organisation that definitely. Uh, and Mrs. Definitely do. Uh, it's very, very kind of them to do it for us. Uh, there's a Pokemon <coughs> in chat, everybody. Sharon says, can't wait for October to come. <laughs> Let's see. I've got, I've got thingy, um, Sharon. I've got Sophie sat on her gravestone. If you want to do that for duo trio, the uh, 03998 gravestone Sophie. 2016 Reaper Con Edition. I have that now. If you want to do that, so let you know. Uh, maybe someone else has got it as well. If you do a trio, Tyler says I can't redeem treat or hydrate panda. It keeps telling me that I've already redeemed it. Oh, that's very strange. I do. <laughs> mm. What's uh, what's the theme for October? I did ask. I did say that I was going to have a look in the Discord and then I've completely forgot. Oh, for... Because I'm rubbish. For, for us? Yeah. For the great MLG brush off, it's undead. Undead? Undead. Mm. What's this uh, When When does large group need to be in? I'm still holding out for your reset for Fair Shadow. Uh, they haven't officially said yet that it is normally a couple of days before the end. Uh, with it being the last quarter, but they haven't actually told us an official date yet. Fair Shadow. What was the answer? Uh, oh. Oh. What? What was the answer on grid? Just after I asked, Kathy wanted me to pop over to help uh, the brown bin. But they have to ask me again, so I... <laughs> Why have you failed? <coughs> Not failed, why have you, you failed? Don't say that. Is Still only got one hand. Maybe you, maybe you could submit your great MLG brush up and say it's magic that I've even got this far with only one hand. Do <laughs> some tiny little. Uh, Scratches along the edge of his belt. Sharon's got to go and have some food. Thanks, Sharon. Thanks for Take coming. Care. 
See you soon. Although it's market day and it's busy in the street outside, Wednesday is a pretty quiet day, generally. But well, it's busy outside the shop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Any, 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 any day. Not really. No. Yeah. Because people are still really busy the weekend. I said I'll be, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We leave the house, but we we went out for a birthday meal, and we and we went out at our five. And I said how busy it was really. In town, yeah. there's loads of people. It's pro probably not yet turning out. It's just tiny little, tiny, tiny little lines on the edges of the thing. This is your guy's magic, isn't it? It is. It is. So what square shadow is that? It's a uh, uh, flesh colour. I don't know. We we should have a delivery uh, turning up tomorrow. I think we could do from Reaper. In fact, possibly even two deliveries coming from Reaper. So. Possibly tomorrow. Once uh, once it arrives, I shall let you know if you like. I've got some rusty red here on my palette from the uh, thing. I'm gonna do a little red flash on the end of this feather on the back of his head. How are we doing for time? Ten and ten. So breezes and winds don't upset the copper. <laughs> yeah, no dust in it. Feed him, Mrs. John, John's feeding him too. That's a big happy smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> News flash, brilliant and well clean, my attention. <laughs> yeah. That'll probably make the paper, isn't it? Well, one, one, one thing, thing that might make it slightly well, easier, Tony, if you're worried about carrying, uh, carrying it from. A car park or something. If it's not a market day, you could uh, pull straight up outside the shop on the pedestrianised street to 
to load. Might make your life a little easier. Right, what I'm gonna do is the metal on his ring. Look at that, it's, done, it's got like little white spots in it again. You can see how it's pulling apart that purple. Hmm? Blue. That blue. You can see how it's pulling that blue apart. It's like, why is it doing that? It's, it's gone like rubbery. So if I pull away on the base, it's making those cracks bigger. I don't know why is it doing that. Surely it should have cured properly after th like three, four days. Hmm. How bizarre. This one because it's taught like a pirate day, isn't it? Yeah. Ha <laughs> Me hearties. Ah. Nah. What? What's an, I've just realized that there's a like a ring around the brim of the hat that I've just completely missed and painted the same color as the rest of the hat. What a donkey! Yeah, yeah, I can go back and sort the, it out. The brim of my hat's the same colour as the rest of my hat. I don't understand. Yeah, well, I, I think I should paint, because there's so much, like, the same colour going on, I think maybe I should paint it a different colour, but I can't believe I'd missed it. What a numpty. What a numpty. Right, metals. So, gold ring, or silver ring, or one of each. He's got a ring on his finger. He's got a ring on this finger here, and he's got a ring on this finger there. Do you think he's I should? He's got rings on his toes. No. Should we do? Should we do? Uh, excuse me. Should we do one of each, or should we do silver, or should we do gold? What do you reckon? Silver's nice with blue. Silver it is, then. It says it would look lovely in a nice magenta. <laughs> why, why doesn't it surprise me that you've uh, suggested that, Pete? Why doesn't it? Right. Let's find a nice silver to do these rings. Let's go with some Dark Star Old Silver. Pete's showing off his emote game again. I don't have many emotes. No, me neither. I'm going to use this brush for uh, the metal as well because uh, it's super pointy. Thanks, Roxy. Thank you. See you later. Thanks for dropping by. What have you got to tell us, Annie? You've not told us a lot today. No, I've just been, uh, just been at work. Been reassembling the, uh, been reassembling the display that fell down on me on Friday. Whilst uh, whilst playing Magic the Gathering on Friday night, I was stood in our upstairs serving area because it was busy and we needed extra table space. So my opponent and I were playing in the uh, across the counter, and the display that is fastened to the wall behind me just collapsed and hit my leg as it fell with a huge crash. What I, I, wasn't in, I wasn't injured. What did you do? Every, 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 <laughs> no, everybody kind of stopped and went like, oh, what was that? Like, ah, oh, it's just a shop falling apart, don't worry about it. 
It was the uh, the fixings that I had used to fasten it to the wall had sheared off. When we originally installed it, we never really expected that it would take that much weight. But as we've got more and more stock, it's got uh, more and more heavily laden, and just they finally gave way under the weight on it. We just point out that uh, none of the actual shop fittings that customers touch are hung in this way. <laughs> no. This was, this was just a really bizarre quick setup that we did uh, because we didn't think we were going to hang anything on it and then we've just been hanging more, and more stuff on it. Yeah. But it's fine. It is now rigidly fixed with sizable metal fixings and screws that go through the wall and into a large chunk of wood on the other side as well for extra security. Metal there. Pete says, this show's job. Yeah, Pete, I'll have to try harder next time, won't I? Yeah. I'm not going to get out if he just dirts his leg. <laughs> There's a wild wallaby. A wallaby? Whatever that is. <laughs> There's one of them. Go catch it. Right then. How's that looking? We need to just catch the edges of those, uh, those rings. So we've got a nice, uh, nice little metal finish there with our old silver. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get some Vallejo steel. I'm going to take this hat off because I keep banging the light with it, and I've definitely had it on a minute. I'm going to get some Vallejo steel, and I'm going to just do a tiny little highlighty bit on uh, on my metal. We've got a minute left to do tiny little, tiny little edge highlight. Right then, where's, where's the light coming from? That side. It's gonna hit it there, because that's where his beard is. Descriptions from. Let's see, uh, see what it is. So. It's going to be some kind of wallaby thing, right? So, as always, we will be back tomorrow at 6 o'clock until 7. Yep, and 6 till 7 tomorrow. What are you painting? Tomorrow, uh, I am going to be working a little bit more on this base if I can uh, get it sorted out in between now and then and if I can't then uh, I'm just going to give it up as a bad job <laughs> uh, now I'm going to be working on uh, on the base and I'm also going to be working on uh, my grass scorpion grass scorpion yeah, grass scorpion's definitely getting a uh, a bit of stream time. Oh, well, I'll be carrying on with this guy, which currently I absolutely hate. So that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> so you'll be able to see how bad my my uh, guy is tomorrow if you come and join us. It would be awesome to see you all. And for now, we're going to say. Good night. Are we all going to give, uh, give Pando a good night pat on my head? Good night, Pando. Ah, uh, Pete says it looks like a chicken nugget. And Tony says it looks like a cross between a chicken and a turnip. Wowzers. That sounds... Uh, that sounds interesting, doesn't it? Mm. <laughs> I'm going to have to Google it now. Just to see what it is. 
Şekil nuru Or in an upturned skull. Cool. Thank you, everyone. Bye.